definition. Um, the term candidate does not come under the exact definition of employee or of officer. Um, the only place that the term candidate is mentioned is in the financial disclosure section. Um, so I interpret that to mean that um, candidates are only subject to the board's jurisdiction in terms of whether or not they file financial disclosures. Um, there was a question as to the definition of what it means to be nominated to the elected office and, and trying to tie that um, together as meaning a candidate. But in that situation, I think in, um, when 281 speaks to nominated for elected office, it's talking about um, situations where the county council will appoint a successor to fill a vacancy. So they're nominated for an elected office but not yet confirmed. And so what you're saying is it's not necessarily a nomination by a party. You're looking at a nomination by a government body. Correct. So, and the, the uh, session that I'm referring to is our county charter, and it's 3-4. It speaks to vacancies in office and uh, prescribes how the county council um, goes about nominating somebody for elected office should there be a vacancy. Is there any discussion or questions on this? Mr. Chair, just a quick question Go ahead. Uh, for Council. Uh, there's nothing in um, HRS Y revised statute that speaks to this definition issue either. Is that right? Um, well, the HRS um, does define what a candidate is, but my position is that within your own ethics code, there is no definition. Uh, for candidate um, as falling under an officer or an employee and therefore subject to the board jurisdiction. And so the phrase here, nominated for elected office, that doesn't come, there's nothing specifically associated with that in the HRS as well. It's only your understanding of how the practice is here in the county. Correct. Thank you. Go ahead. No, just playing devil's advocate here. What I, I would be concerned about, if we should rule, well, according to your statement, that would make two classes of people running for office because it would have one class of a candidate who's not in office and one class who is an incumbent. So that would make two different rules involving here. One would apply to a person running who is not in office, and one would apply to a person who is incumbent to come under the county code. Would that be fair? Yes. I mean, are you asking me, would that be a fair statement, or would that be a fair result? No, that a fair result. I'm saying you're creating oh. two classes of, uh, of candidates. Right no, of course point. not. So how can we get around that? The other thing is, um, you know, the financial disclosure provision, um, which identifies candidates for <coughs> penalty provision, um, whereas our code does not, would not um, provide a penalty provision should there be a violation of the code of ethics by a candidate. That would be a question on the code, not on necessarily this specific situation. Correct. All right, that question was very being that we were The only thing that I could clarify it with is this may be something to be taken up by the State Collections Commission, not us, if they want to get more stuff out of it. So that's what answered my own question. Yeah. Are there any uh, further comments about the question on whether or not we have jurisdiction over this? Is there any motion as to, uh, or is there any thought of proceeding with uh, uh, hearing or is uh, should we? I have a motion, Mr. Chair. Go ahead. Uh, I move that we dismiss this petition for lack of jurisdiction over the um, subject of the petition. Second. A motion has been made and seconded to dismiss petition number 2014 04 as the board does not have jurisdiction in this particular specific situation. Is there any further discussion on this? Hearing no further discussion, I call for a vote. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 All those opposed? 
Hearing no opposed, the motion is passed. Hello, Mike. Yes. I need to say something. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I know you, 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 you did this, but you know, I need to tell, tell you something. This thing has affected me. Yeah? Last night I couldn't sleep. I've been having anxiety. This morning I called the Corporation Council office. I was in tears talking to the secretary lady. So you cannot win somebody's life together and then just kind of call it quits. I really, you know, I have issues. Uh, and uh, so you guys got to hear me. At least I'm going to drive over here from Pahua with hardly any gas in my car so I can come and speak out for my rights. Yeah, I have a right as an American citizen. So you need to at least hear what I have to say. I don't want to come all the way over here. So then you're going to just call it quits. Bulaya. I don't think so. I'm sorry. But I said, I called a couple people this morning. I barely get gas. And to get your butt over there. Yeah? To cover your grounds. To make sure that whatever they're accusing you of is not right. So that's why I cannot just go home and say, oh, forget it. They went just can cancel the whole thing. So that's why I need to speak. Yeah, this has affected me. For this last two weeks since I got that letter from Renee, it has affected me. I'm trying to run a campaign. And then I feel like somebody's trying to put me down and uh, make me look bad. That's why I've been trying to recover for the last three and a half years because of some of this kind of shit that I have to go through. I hate to speak like this, but it's reality. I've been trying to recover for three and a half years. Now I'm stepping back out, and this is the kind of stuff I have to put up with. Yeah? So I need you guys to know from my own voice to all of you here. Yeah? And I see somebody that I highly respect on, 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 your, on your board of ethics. Yeah? So for me to drive down here with barely any gas in my car, to come for stand up for my rights as a American citizen living in Hawaii, Nay. So I need you guys, that's why I need you to hear what I had to say. This is not a game. Playing games with people's lives is not porno. Yeah? Porno means righteous. So I do not want to step into something, you know, to me, um, my community is so important to me. September, made 58 years I live in my community. That's when my mother dropped me. So, for me to step back into the realm, and then I never even, it's barely even two months before I, I, I'm campaigning, and this is the kind of stuff I gotta deal with. Yes. Excuse me. Emily, uh, before, the, before we started, we had called for statements from the public, and we only had one. Uh, in this particular matter uh, on which you'd like to speak, I, I do understand, uh, but the, the issue you have, I don't think is with the Board of Ethics, I think the issue you have would be with the petitioner, because it's the petitioner who has brought something. Okay, well, who's the name? You never give me no name. Everything was blocked out. How can I deal with anybody if everything is all black? Yeah? I can't deal with nobody. We also have confidentiality rules. That we I hiki no, hiki no. So the thing is, if you guys had no authority to do what you guys just tried to do to me now, and then now you just dropped it, and you're going to just drop her in tin air. No, that's why, you know, I have rights too. Actually, you guys think everybody actually, else have rights. What about me? Actually, we've dismissed the case, so there's no longer any case against you. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing is, that's why I needed to speak. Because, I, like I said, that means no more gas. But I drove over here on a wing and a prayer because I had to come over here, stand up for my rights, Renee. Yeah? And that's why I came here this morning. And so I, I, I thank you for dropping it, but I needed to share my peace. Yeah? I've had anxieties for the last two weeks. 
because of this situation. And God bless to whoever did this petition. Uh, you know, it's, it's not her fault, whoever's fault it is. But thank you for giving me an opportunity to share my manako. Thank you very much. No, Uncle, no, no, no. We see a lawsuit coming. Moving on with the uh, new business, we have petition number.